this injury rocks you to yeah. your like, to your core, and there's a risk of losing pieces of your identity, and, and sort of that reclaiming has been a really special part of this week. I'm Georgiana Burnside. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'm 18 years old. My name is Justin Pines. I'm 31. I uh, live right outside Denver. I was injured in March of 2015 uh, in a skiing accident in Snowmass, Colorado, and I was paralyzed from basically the waist down at T12L1. 2016, I got hurt up off the head wall lift in Squaw Valley. I've been recovering and sort of reclaiming life ever since, getting back into the things All I the love. So the first time we met, you know, I was at Craig all summer because of high fives. I saw Justin wearing a high five shirt and I was like, oh dude, high five, because I'm a high fives athlete as well. Uh, since that day, our families have gotten really close. Yeah. Our moms are besties and, uh, you know, I'm of course passing on tons of life wisdom almost constantly, but, uh, you know, I, I take a lot from the way she approaches life and, and the way she thinks about things. So leading up to this week, uh, I know for myself, I kind of had some reservations about coming back to the slopes. I was uh, a bundle of emotions coming into this week. This is where I got hurt. I don't know, like I got injured skiing, so did he, and this is the place he got injured. So it's kind of um, a big obstacle for both of us to get back out here, but it's nice having each other. So once I got here, I was really excited, but um, coming up to this point, I was a little nervous. Very excited to kind of slay the dragon, come full circle, um, get back out there, and very, very supported and propped up by the High Fives community. I got here the day before Justin, and I went snowmobiling with my family um, and hung out with High Fives and did some work in the healing center. And then the next day, we both went on the slopes, he mono skied, and I um, stood up. And I stood up. First time. Yeah, two year anniversary Four this week. It. and. Uh, decided to ski again, because what makes more sense than that, you know? And so uh, <laughs> I got up and I did floor trekking and it was, it was really fun. Coming off of that, we got out on uh, the cross country by ski. Uh, I was a distance runner all through college and, and being able to get out to some aerobic, it's been a blast of a week and really special. But I've gotten to spend some time with the ski patrollers uh, that helped save me that day. Um, so it's, it's beyond just skiing. Uh, the slopes, uh, but it's been a very meaningful week and it's something that I, um, I'm i sure I'll be looking back on for many years to come. I think in no small way, like, you know, high fives is this foundation. It's why we met. George saw me wearing a high five shirt and, mm -hmm. you know, has provided just opportunity upon opportunity yeah. to get out and enjoy some adventure, be it in the waves or on the slopes. Uh, so big shout out and a lot of gratitude for all that high fives yeah. does. And, yeah, High Fives and Craig Hospital both, they kind of um, restore this hope um, during a, a time of loss of identity. And so once you're surrounded by a group of people who are going through the same thing, it's like this immediate camaraderie. Uh, it's really important to progress in healing, uh, just mentally and physically. So it's great for what they do, getting us out there to have fun, but also uh, allowing us to bond with each other. So.